This would fall off me so easily. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Abby Andrew and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, this is a channel that focuses primarily on topics like cosplay but also wigs and alopecia because I'm someone that has had alopecia for my whole life. All of my hair fell out when I was about two years old and I've been wearing wigs pretty much daily since about the age of seven. This video in particular is one that I wasn't sure if I was ever going to post because after filming this video, I wasn't really sure if I agreed with it ethically and let me kind of explain where I'm coming from here. As you can see from the title of this video, it's supposed to be about Shein human hair wigs. Now, now, rewind to when I found these wigs over a year ago now. I was searching online on Shein, and I think someone actually requested this video on another wig video I did about synthetic wigs, and they were like, hey, did you know Shein had human hair wigs? Would you mind doing a review on them to see if they're legit? So originally I wanted to do it because somebody actually requested that video, and I myself am someone that only wears synthetic wigs for the most part because they are just significantly cheaper. For my whole life, human hair wigs have just seemed like something really out of reach for me because they can run really, really high price ranges, over $1,000. So when I saw these human hair wig options on Shein, I was also very curious about the quality of them. And my mind was really focused on the quality more than it was, I didn't even really think about the sourcing of human hair because I'm not someone that really owns human hair wigs in general. So it's honestly just not something that crossed my mind. Of course, when it occurred to me later on, I was kind of kicking myself because I'm like, why, why didn't I think of this in the first place? But ultimately I ended up buying a bunch of human hair Shein wigs that were very low cost and of course, with the low cost comes the question of how could these possibly be ethically produced? Now, I don't shop at Shein in general at all anymore since filming this video. That's probably the last thing I ever ordered from Shein, and that was over a year ago now. And then all of that on top of the fact that the human hair industry can also be a little bit shady, and that's true across the board with any industry, any company, not just Shein selling these wigs. So if you're looking at human hair wigs in general, if it's a low cost, there's a pretty high possibility that it wasn't sourced ethically. I actually watched a whole video about this from Refinery29 talking about where human hair extensions and wigs come from and that video was really eye-opening it's honestly very emotionally moving I highly recommend that you watch it I will link it below but it really just delved into where human hair is sourced and they often target really very very impoverished areas women in these areas they target them for their hair. There was a woman in that video who had extremely long hair that she had been offered two or three dollars for her whole head of hair, which then of course is made into a wig and sold for significantly more than that and she only sees two or three dollars of it for probably what took a lifetime to grow hair that long. But then aside from ethical sourcing, there are so many other concerns and issues with really low cost human hair like this. For one, it's probably hair that was gathered from salon room floors, taken out of drains. It could come from so many different kind of gross sources as well, and they're just kind of gathering up all this hair. They're treating it with really, really harsh chemicals to try to make it look nice, so that damages the cuticle. So the hair is not going to last nearly as long as high quality Remy virgin human hair, often coated in silicone to make it seem more shiny and natural, but then after you wash it once or twice, it's going to end up looking really dry and brittle and expose what that hair really looks like in reality. So there are so many concerns that come up when it comes to these super, super cheap human hair wigs, and ultimately I decided to return them because I wasn't comfortable with the ethics, and on top of that, it's probably not gonna be great quality either. However, the reason I still wanted to put out this video ultimately is because I think that there's a lot of people that might come across these human hair wigs on sites like Shein, Amazon, Timu, there are so many sites that sell these very, very low cost human hair wigs and I wanted this information to be out there so you can see for yourselves what these wigs look like and ultimately you can make that decision for yourself whether you feel comfortable buying these. And again, a big disclaimer here is I do not know where these Shein human hair wigs were sourced. So this is all speculation and these are just possible ways that hair can be sourced. So when you're watching this video, just remember that it was filmed before I kind of learned all these things. So I was filming the video with actually a lot of enthusiasm about the wigs because I was still excited about the concept of colorful human hair wigs for two reasons. Human hair wigs usually for most of my life have felt unachievable because they are generally much more expensive and also colorful human hair wigs seemed like such an exciting thing to me because I just my whole life have wanted to have really cool dyed brightly colored fun hair but because I've worn wigs my whole life I've been very limited as to what options are available so the idea of having dyed human hair wigs just seemed so exciting to me. So just 
just know if I seem like I'm enthusiastic about these wigs during the actual video, it's because I filmed that a year ago now at least, and at the time I was kind of excited about these wigs, and then after filming it and after doing more research, I ended up returning them. I did end up keeping one because I had already trimmed the lace, so I was no longer able to return it at that point, but I feel like that is also a benefit for this video because then I can at least kind of show you guys that wig from research purposes, but I know there are a lot of people who are searching these low-cost human hair wigs, and I hope that this can be a source of information about everything that I've said in this video and you can just ultimately make that decision for yourself. So thank you so much for listening to this really long preamble to this video and uh, go ahead and watch the rest of the video and let me know what you think in the comments. I'm gonna go ahead and start with one of the ones I was just holding. Um, so as you can see, this is like a hot pink human hair wig. So this is a lace front wig. As you can see, you're gonna have to trim the lace yourself if you do decide to keep it. It also came in a variety of lengths. I'll put the price on the screen so I have to double check um, while I'm editing this video, but this was how much this wig cost. And if you want to get it for longer, they did have options for that, but they were just significantly more expensive the longer you got. So this was kind of like the budget range that I was comfortable with for testing out Shein human hair wigs. I really, really like the color. It's just super bright, hot pink, as you can see, but what I'm also kind of excited about to try is to see if the color will kind of fade over time like regular dyed human hair, because I would really like the look of this with like a faded kind of pink. Now here's the thing I found about the Shein synthetic wigs that was kind of similar, is that even though the hair quality feels really nice, the wig cap is where it's kind of lacking, but it's not the end of the world. The thing that makes a wig high quality, in my opinion, that's really, really important, is the wig cap construction to be comfortable, to fit properly, to look natural, and the Shein wigs kind of lack in that department from what I've seen. It has the lace front, which is really nice for a lot, um, a lot of people who like to wear wigs. It has these clips, which I'm not gonna need because I don't have hair of my own, but that can be useful if you are, do have hair and you're gonna kind of clip it into your hair. The adjustments on the back are really low quality. They're just the ones with these little hooks that you usually find on like super cheap kind of costumey wigs, but they do the trick and they're fine and it is nice that it is adjustable. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on. I'm gonna stop delaying. <laughs> just swap out these wigs. Oh my gosh, see like, <laughs> I don't know where the catch is because I feel like this just looks really nice for the price that it is. Obviously, I'm gonna have to trim this, so I hope you guys can kind of get a feel for what that will look like when I do trim that. As you can see with the lace front, it kind of just looks like it's growing right out of your scalp. One thing I will be curious to see is once I do trim the lace, if it will still kind of fit my head properly. I think these definitely will be the kind of wigs that you need to use glue to hold in place or else they might slip. But it doesn't have any sort of like monofilament wig cap to make the part like the hairline look natural. But it doesn't look bad or anything. And I think this style is designed to be a style that you kind of pull back and that's what's covering the hairline. So I really like how this would look if I kind of put it in a little ponytail. It's a nice thickness, not too thick, not too thin. And I think you have the option to decide on Shein as well if you want it to be thicker or thinner. Next up, we have this gorgeous blue wig, which again, I'm pretty sure is the same wig, just in a different color option. So it'll be the same listing. The similar cap construction, There's the lace front, the little clips throughout, and the little cheap hook adjustments, but they are, they are okay. I find with those, I usually have to put them on like the tightest setting because I am just putting it on my head. Whereas if you are putting it over your hair, that might be even better for you because you have the hair to kind of fill the wig cap a little bit more. Now between these two, that hot pink one and this blue one, I'm really torn because I'll probably keep one of these two, but I cannot decide which color. The pink, I feel like I'm even more excited to see how that color will look once it fades, whereas this blue, I'm so happy with it as it is. This is just so gorgeous. <laughs> and then again, that really natural looking lace front. Again, you can get wigs that are even more natural looking, but the fact that this is a human hair wig lace front from Shein for this price, that's pretty good, all things considered. Now again, this wig does have the option to come even longer if you want. I think it had it up to like 20 inches, so you could get it down to here if you wanted to pay more, but I was happy with this length for me. The wig cap definitely does feel a bit big. I don't think it's really gonna show on camera, but I just feel like it's a little baggy here. I don't think that really shows, but it doesn't feel uncomfortable, and I don't think it would really appear like it was too big, but that is something to note, especially if you are someone who, like me, is just wearing it on a bald head or you're, you have a smaller head size or something like that. But let me know in the comments which one of these two you like better, because they are the same wig style, and I cannot decide if I want to keep the blue or the pink. So there's the cap again. So the lace does go pretty, pretty far back, so you do get a little bit of that natural looking part, and then you just don't really get that once you get farther back. 
but I feel like it doesn't really matter for this wig because the look of it is kind of going for like a pulled back effect. But again, I think this is definitely one that once you cut the lace off, you really would need to use some sort of adhesive. What I like to use for lace front wigs is the Got To Be Glued hair gel. It kind of doubles as a wig adhesive that isn't too intense. Next one up for me is kind of the biggest disappointment in this whole batch because it has some features that I really, really like, but the one fatal flaw in my case is that it is just huge on me. So usually with wigs, I can just wear standard sizing, but this wig is so huge, I don't know if they're intending it for people who are wearing it over their hair, so maybe that's why there's extra room in the cap. But even if someone was wearing it over their hair, I don't think this would fit a lot of people unless you have like an extra large head size. So the cap construction is slightly better quality because it has that lace front and then it even kind of goes back to the top of the head so you will get more of the realistic look on top. And then here's the back of it. Again, we have these little metal clips. There's three in total. And then you also have the little hook adjustments. Now here it is on the tightest setting. And just look at how big this wig is on me. <laughs> so I was really excited to have a nice brunette human hair wig, but first of all, it goes over my ears, which it's not supposed to do. Like normally the wig cap should fit to go above your ears. Right now it's over my ears. So even though it kind of like looks okay, the wig cap is just so big. And then even still, it's, there's just so much room and that's in the tightest wig cap setting. So here is it if it's actually above my ears and then the wig cap on top is just like too loose. <laughs> this would fall off me so easily. <laughs> Wouldn't really recommend, but look how natural this is. I feel like it would need like a little bit of tweezing to make it look a little bit more even. But you can even like change the part and still have it look natural like this. This is crazy for what this cost, but the wig cap is just huge. So it almost feels like a waste to have all these nice features and then just have a fatal flaw like that because it makes it unwearable for me. So this next one was a total fail as well because it came in the completely wrong color. This was supposed to be like an aqua kind of color and it's just like bright joker green. Now that's funny because a different wig that I ordered is was supposed to be green and that one actually looks super cute it's a slightly better shade of green but this one was supposed to be like an aqua color here's the wig cap again you have that ear to ear lace front which actually for me like some people might prefer that but for me i feel like that makes it harder to wear because once you have that ear to ear lace front that's when you really really need to use some sort of adhesive to hold it on or it won't stay but i am kind of lazy with my wigs and i like to be able to just throw them on with no effort because i do wear them every single day whereas with that ear to ear lace front i find it's, it just takes a lot more time to kind of keep secure on your head. So the ear-to-ear -ear lace front, same with these little clips inside again, which if you don't need those, you can always just remove them. The lace on the nape of the neck as well, which I feel like wouldn't really work properly. And then again with these hook adjustments. These are not my preferred type of adjustments, but they're not so bad. I did have to make the adjustments pretty tight for this to fit me properly. This one comes with <laughs> really long lace in the front, so this looks kind of funny right now. But again, you end up with that really natural looking part and hairline, but then this color is just ridiculous. I, maybe it's just because it's not styled. It is human hair, so you can take a straightening iron to it or something and really fix this mess that it looks like right now. So it's just so funny that it has these really nice features like this, and then it just kind of looks like a chaotic mess. <laughs> Definitely needs styling. Um, it does also feel really baggy on the back of my head because I did have to make the straps really tight for it to fit me comfortably. So again, this may be not be a good wig cap if you have a petite head size or like petite to average head size. But around my head it does feel secure. Just baggy. Maybe I just can't see past the fact that it really needs styling, but obviously I can't put any heating tools to it unless I commit to keeping it, and I don't think I want to keep this one. <laughs> and here is the last one, which is the one I was most excited about. Again, it is a shade of green as well. I've always wanted a green wig, and I just haven't found one that I liked yet. That other shade of green was just a little bit too, like, Christmas green for me, and this is just a little bit more subtle, so... I don't know, for me, I like this one a bit better. This wig also comes in a couple different colors as well, so you can get it dyed different bright colors if you want. Here's the cap construction on the inside. There's a lace front, lace part. So a little bit better cap quality than those first two I showed, the pink and the blue. Again, with the adjustable straps here. This one I also found fit me better too once I put it on. So the adjustments, I didn't even make that tight and it already fits me way, way better. Sorry, this looks so funny right now. So even if you do have an even smaller head size than I do, this would fit more comfortably, but it is still adjustable, so if you do have a bigger head size, it should still work as well. Sorry, it's hard to get the right forehead length when we have this huge piece of lace here, so obviously I'd have to trim this off. But again, 
fits comfortably behind my ears, fits really comfortably around my head, feels really secure. And that's what a good quality wig cap should do for you. Obviously this isn't going to be like the best quality wig cap for this price, but it just fits so much better and then it still has that natural looking lace front and lace part. Now again, I'd probably want to tweeze this a little bit to make it a little bit less uniform and therefore make it look more natural, but you have something good to work with here. So of the wig caps, I feel like this one actually is the best quality as well. Now it does need a bit of styling, again because it is human hair and human hair wigs need to be styled more than synthetic wigs, but I feel like once it is styled, if I just kind of like fix this bob situation going on here, then I think this would be super cute. Am I crazy? Like, let me know in the comments. I really, really love this wig style. Future Abby here again. I'm gonna just add a little outro to this video again, just to remind you what I said in the beginning of the video. So again, even if there are some positive things that I might've said about these wigs in this video, please go back and rewatch the beginning of this video for the additional information that I've learned as to why I ended up returning these wigs. I struggled for a long time trying to decide whether I wanted to post this or not. I ultimately thought I was just going to have to scrap the video because the last thing that I want to do is actively promote these wigs. But after sitting on it for many months, I kind of figured that this could also be a source of information for other people who might be considering buying these wigs to test them out for themselves and maybe this can help you make up your mind about whether you want to try them. Again, as someone who has never really been able to afford human hair wigs and uses them for medical purposes, I would never make any judgments about people who choose to buy these. That is completely up to you. I just want to provide you with all the information that I possibly can. There are also some charities that I will list in the description that also help provide high quality human hair wigs that are ethically sourced to people who have proven medical needs. So if you are someone who maybe can't afford a high quality human hair wig that's probably a higher price point, but you are someone that needs them for medical purposes, some of these charities will help you out financially to get one of those instead of having to buy one of these questionable, probably very low quality human hair wigs on sites like Shein. And thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.